It's awesome. Oh, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> he looks weird. <laughs> I'd hate if I jump kicked him. Oh, man. We broke his back. Pretend, or pretend, you're, pretend like you're asleep, everybody. There, we gotta pretend you're asleep. There you go. <laughs> Don't, I, I was gonna make bread on me. <laughs> I was gonna host the show with you guys asleep, but. Uh. That yeah. was useful. I wanted to. Look at all there. those enemies. I wanted to Shit. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need them. It's a crutch. You know what it is? It's a crutch. <laughs> oh, God. I could really use it right now. What the hell? <laughs> I'm a male antagonist. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's so strong, Brad. Jeez. Walk gonna... into my fist! Walk in my fucking zone! I dare so, you. Are they wearing, like, chocolate cake on their head and holding cherries? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure what's her name that wears all the weird clothes. Who's that, like, pop star singer chick? Lady Jam Gaga. And the hog rats. Sure, one of those. They, she probably got her inspiration <laughs> from this game. <laughs> she has a meat suit. A what? A meat suit. Out of real meat? Yeah, yeah raw meat. What? Yeah. Look it up. Thing? Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to look at my phone. It hurts my reality. I don't want to look it. hurts my eyes. <laughs> it hurts me. That's my high impression. <laughs> yeah. She's right now. Fucking spot, spot on. on. <laughs> Nailed Nailed it. it. Idiot. Uh. Oh gosh! Did you just pick him up by his head and then slam him into your knee? Yeah. Yep. Oh, this guy's a fucking. He's like flesh tone. He's a dip diver. <laughs> damn, damn. I'm so did the dessert make, like, creature. Beef curtain jokes then when she wore that. Maybe. Because it seems pretty. Look at this tall crazy. ass. Oh, she's the same. Uh, that might have she's... been. The intention. Yeah? Is she all into that? I know nothing about Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Whoever it was. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Is an artist. She was poker face girl? Yeah. Pop yeah. Poker face. Nailed it. I'm an expert on celebrities. She won't stop. They won't stop. Uh, she has an interview stop, too. She what? She's going to interview him. Look at that. She's holding in a microphone. Oh, oh I thought you were talking about, about Lady Gaga. Not her. Uh, why would Gaga have an interview with these people? <laughs> what would Gaga? Oh. oh. Nice. Zap! Oh, black eye. It hurt them. Maybe it just well, they're not bosses. Hurt bosses yeah. You're not the boss. No, of me. not the slippy oh, slide, man. The green one. Yeah, the fire does a lot of damage. What if I have my beam up or did I go? My beam! My oh, beam! My beam. <laughs> I hate the slide again. Is he sliding? Well, how else would he be sliding around like that? I don't know, magic. He, he walks like fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Michael Jackson zombie, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> the thriller. God, post. that fire yeah. does almost all my health. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, fuck. Hey, gnome or elf or whatever, you could fucking help, you know? <laughs> I could use a little bit of assistance. He's napping. Instead, he's just napping like Matt tends to do. Yeah, leave him alone. He's <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna give you a death look if you, you know, realize that he's napping. Oh no. Like, I wish I could yeah. select my sailor scout. Can, do I want to continue? I guess. I guess I'm fucking here still. You got five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Matt, so how do you it feel to control a sailor scout? 
Which um, one are you? I'm Jupiter. Jupiter? I liked Jupiter because she's the biggest one. Hmm. Because that's. I thought they Ju were like all the Jupiter's same. Jupiter's the biggest sailors. planet, so, oh, so Jupiter has to be the biggest sailor scout. Hmm. Beautiful. Dessert. Matt, what are you most excited for at Denver Comic Con this year? Um. I don't know who's coming. Like, I don't know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, I, I honestly haven't kept up with it. I'm, I'm just excited to just kind of walk around the convention. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite part. Yeah. Are you going to cosplay this year? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to put a, a Sith Inquisitor cosplay together, but oh. I've just been so fucking busy. Like, yeah. Yeah, and it's like earlier this year. It yeah. snuck yeah. up on me big time. Um, Body slam, everybody. It's the strat. Did you ever get your proton pack together, Brian? No. That's going to be another year. Yeah. I found a company that's going to start putting out kits, Brian. Yeah. For 600 bucks. No thanks. Yeah, I'd rather just build it. Yep. No, I, I want to make an original one because anybody who sticks to it can make a proton pack just like the one that came out. The original ones, but I'd rather just like. Get into make it your own. Yeah, yeah, programming also, and like I also LED really mechanisms. I made cosplay a lot too. Yeah. Like, instead of just buying a whole. Right. No, like I, I would like to integrate like different lights, and I've seen people use. Um, oh God, I can't even think what they're called. Uh, what you have, the e-cigarettes or what? You, oh yeah, yeah. Like, like vapor thing. E yeah, the vapors to like create smoke mm -hmm. kind of things. Like you know, it could be. A, be fun if you just make up your own proton pack. Ah, that'd be cool. Like, we should group. we should just get together. Get, well, Brian and I have been talking about doing that together for a while. We just need to like sit down and get started on it. Yeah. Get serious. Yeah. Because I'll just go as myself as a Ghostbuster. Because ever since I was a kid, that's what I wanted to uh, be. Right. There was all that backlash about like the new Ghostbusters trailer, but it. Okay. I was like, do I die if I go in the water? <laughs> um, it has something it that I wanted as a proton pack thing. Um, the which pistols? It, the pistols, yeah. yeah. Like, I would love two proton pack pistols, like. Yeah, it made me think of Extreme Ghostbusters. And I was like, you know, that could be fun. Yeah, if I, like, I did a proton pack, I'd want to do something like, like, original like that, like the mm -hmm. two. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, we should... We should do that like next year, and we'll make it fit our personalities. Yeah, we'll absolutely. Just design our own. We're, we're just our own Ghostbusters. Right. Mm -hmm. like, Arcade um, Cab and, is Ghostbusters. Yeah, we should. That'd be cool. Fucking rad. I would love that. I'd get a three day pass in a heartbeat. Well, you heard it first, citizens, out of these four tired gentlemen, that <laughs> that's what we're doing next that's year. We're doing that's what we're doing. We're the Ghostbuster it. 2017. Ar arcade Woo! cab style. Be there, Denver. Or at least time and brain. <laughs> <laughs> the other two didn't really I confirm, haven't heard any so. information from Matt. <laughs> He's just like, I'm just going to pass on this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Ways. Yeah, <laughs> but I was thinking it'd be fun to like uh, make it look like um, some of the parts on my proton pack came from Japan. So there's mm -hmm. like weathered stickers on it, right? And Japanese lettering and just that kind of stuff. Yeah. Going to bridge. Going to bridge. Get the oh, rose. Tuxedo mask left me a rose. But every now and then, I'll have to go on YouTube to just see people's creations, and I'll just uh -huh. geek out. Yeah. Oh my God, the sounds that they're making with these. It's like, this is fucking rad. I just want to make one. Yeah, it'll be fun, man. Mm -hmm. I love doing crap like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, it's Punch Man. Oh, wow. Oh my fuck, Jesus! <laughs> he's no, he has a jump kick too. Kick. It's, he's impossible. He's got a million punches <laughs> and a jump kick. You haven't even hit him once. There, you there go. we go. Damn, that didn't do anything either. There we go. Oh fuck. What? 
You have to punch him in his Michael Jackson jacket. Holy fuck, Dude, this guy that is, is so impossible. hard. Do you have a special still? Uh. Wow, that fucked him up. Uh. Yeah, yeah, just keep doing that. Oh no, he can throw! <laughs> uh, oh, Whoa. game over. Hey. Uh, well, well, that timed out perfectly, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, cat! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> that was satisfying as hell. We're okay. Well, there you go. Sailor Moon. Ghostbusters. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh. Are we all gonna go to Ghostbusters together? Yeah. Yeah. I'd love Sweet. To. I, I'm. People were complaining about the ghost, the new Ghostbusters trailer, but oh. watch the original first Ghostbusters trailer. Yeah. It's yeah. Not good either. It sucks. No. And if you watch the international one, I felt like they did justice to yeah. the jokes that weren't set up oh, well in the, the, the trailer. Yeah. Mm. I, I love your friend's post about Ghostbusters. Don't bring it no, in. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to name names, but okay. it's just ridiculous. It was. Just, it was like, come I don't, on. Like, uh, why is everyone being so fucking hard? Because the trailer said everything, man. Every, everyone's <laughs> being like a, like a fucker, and it's this like whole fucking fragile machismo kind of thing like oh a bunch of women in my ghostbusters no fucking it's stupid and people were like well maybe they're just mad at the trailer because it sucks i'm like no it's because they're assholves like yeah, right. yeah. they're all fucking assholes and they think ghostbusters has to be a movie for dudes but it doesn't because girls should be able to like see ghostbusters 2 and want to be a ghostbuster right yeah. and it yeah it, does, does the trailer actually suck that much like no I, no no i'm getting fucking pissed though at people just being um just what? being bitchy with these female protagonist characters like yeah. Ro Ro rogue one for an example right yeah. right and just it's because most nerds are fuck boys and they're all real gatekeepery and it fucking sucks yeah like, i can't stand that shit like if you're a if you love media and the culture of media so much you should want to see everything you want to see like every right. take on everything and you want to and you don't share have, that you don't with have people to, like like every yeah. take on everything either but you don't have to be a fucking prick about like, it. Right. like exactly like bringing up ninja turtles there are elements of the michael bay ninja turtles that i think are really cool like I, how they're so visually distinct from one another yeah, is, is really awesome true. that's such a cool I, like uh, effect i don't like their design but i do like that you yeah can actually fucking tell them yeah them. like yeah. you like because if you were to line up all like the 80s ones you have to see them in color to like right. know who's yeah, who basically exactly. But these ones, it was like, oh, Raph is bulkier. He looks yeah. like he's like a tougher guy. And like, Mikey kind of has like weird things on his like right. belt and he's got sunglasses around his neck. You're like, because yeah. he's the party one. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. and I think that's cool. the most distinctive one. Yeah, because he has like the, right. yeah, and he's a bit thinner and like, mm -hmm. um, Bebop and Rocksteady look great. Oh, like, yeah. I'm, I am fucking stoked on their character. Man. Yeah. Like, they they did such a good job on Bebop and Rocksteady. And and I, I think that that's like part of it because you can trash on Michael Bay as much as you want but there's also things to like about the newer Transformers movies. Like sure. most of it is fucking Drek because those movies are mindless but <laughs> at, at the end like right. it's there's still things that are cool in it. Like I, I personally don't like those designs for the Transformers but they're cool like they're cool in their own way it's just not what i like out of transformers sure. and i yeah. they, there's this kind of like die hard great e even the new power rangers movie that i think looks atrocious like I'm, i haven't seen the trailer or anything but like um i i'm struggling to find things i like about it like right. i can't even seem to pinpoint something that redeems it for me and i think that's what's really killing it for me um and like some of the changes that they made don't make sense like Rita Repulsa and they were like oh we're tied into her origin and I'm like she's probably the principal at the kids school right, right. <laughs> because that's what they're gonna fucking do um dude Mercury's got the fucking combo moves um <laughs> gonna and, be a sexy principal too yeah and it for fanboys and it like the fucking Iron Man leftovers fucking suits with the not 
well-readable helmets. Like, that's the main yeah. thing you do is make the helmets readable. Because if you go look at the old Zero Ranger helmets, you're like, okay, that one's a Mammoth, that one's a Sabertooth, yeah, that one's a totally. Pterodactyl. Uh -huh. The fucking pictures of those helmets, you can't even tell. Like, Yeah, I couldn't. And they it, all look the same. It, it sucks. It fucking... I, I'm upset about it mostly because of, like, all of those things and also, like, the sexualization of those teenage girls and the fact mm. that in the movie they're making Billy autistic. Like... Right. Um, which is a bunch of... Like, there should be more autistic representation in media, but I just don't think they're going to handle it well enough. Like, Probably not. And, it doesn't seem that way. Yeah, and it... It just fucking sucks. Like... Those are bad guys. <laughs> those that, are bad men. It's definitely, yeah, trying to be a money maker. Yeah. Like going after and, that kind of a thing. And what also bothers me is, like, people want to see, like, oh, gritty reboots of things. And I'm like, the, yeah. the charm of Power Rangers was the inherent campiness. Yeah, of it. yeah absolutely. That's what made it so great to watch. Like, when I hear people say I like something because it's gritty, or and, it, and the original property was, like, for kids... It just tells me, or is what I hear is you're embarrassed to be a fan of it. Yeah. yeah. As an adult. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, because I've, I've heard multiple people now be like, I like DC over Marvel because they're, they're more serious and they're gritty. And I'm like, oh, so you're embarrassed. Yeah. Like, right. you can't, <laughs> you don't want anybody to question that you love something campy. And, yeah. like, I love Super Sentai so much for the sheer campiness yeah. of it. Like, I love the posing and I love the explosions and I love the goofiness and I love the I like cheesy cg all the poses and shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, awesome and like and I, I i love it and i that's honestly why dc is always like it's so fucking melancholy like mm -hmm. it's so melancholy and sad to just watch um because you're just like i i i don't know i don't want to go into the whole fucking like thing of it here at the sure. title screen of pretty soldier <laughs> seven R, but it just I I like the absurdity of stuff and I think that nerd culture is still so like has this fucking fragile machismo to it like mm -hmm. and it it fucking sucks like especially when you like I feel like that's coming under attack though and will go away yeah and so. and what's great is that oh, she got a fucking rupee there um <laughs> what's great is that like the industry's moving towards a good direction it's just still not there yet like and yeah. it's Fucking, there are still like diehard holdouts that think that like nerd culture is something that only men do. But fucking, my mom plays fucking Candy Crush. Like everyone's a fucking right. gamer. Everyone's yeah. a nerd. Like, mm -hmm. um, we suddenly got into the zeitgeist, and now we think we fucking own this fucking country. Yeah. Oh, the Marvel machine's a billion dollar machine. I guess we rule now. Like, fucking stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Just like things and love each other. Yeah. Matt, look at my dick. Again. Okay, let's see it. Yeah, it oh. still looks like a giant thumb. Yeah. If it was like this. <laughs> like oh, a, congratulations. Like a gun, hand gun, gun dick. Like a gun. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gun dick. Gun dick. I have, to, I have to be real careful when I fake show you my dick because I went commando today, so there's a small oh, chance you might. Oh, so my small chance is a little guy will just be, what's up? God be, forbid. Be, yeah, it'll be on accident, Yeah, too. Right, right. And you just, like, look over and everything's <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, how did this? Completely nude. How did this happen? Look at my finger. Yeah, I'm saying everything else, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got my, my hand here like this, but I'm, like, totally nude. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, you see my thumb? thumb? Yep. yep. You must yep. play thumb yep. war. All right. Well, Sailor Moon. Yeah, With exactly. bonus podcast at the end. Radical. <laughs> Radical. Ra Hello, citizens. It's your buddy Hiram here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sailor Moon and listening to the bonus podcast at the end. Uh, we've talked a few times about maybe uh, doing kind of like a podcast, the four of us, and... Uh, you know, maybe doing it like every couple of weeks or so or something like that. It's it's kind of tough to get four people on, on the same schedule and stuff. So, uh, but I don't know. What would you think? Is that uh, something that you'd like to listen to? Uh, let us know by leaving a comment below. And also just a shameless plug for my podcast because I have one. It's called the We Ain't Getting Younger podcast. 
And uh, it's my buddy Andrew and I that do it, and we talk about video games and stuff, and it's super awesome. You should definitely check that out as well, because that would be wonderful. Also, Denver Comic Con is this weekend, and all four of us will be there on Saturday. Uh, I think that... The other three guys, uh, Brian, Matt, and Brett, will all be there all three days, uh, but I just have a Saturday pass because I'm poor. But uh, come look for us. Come say hey. It'll be awesome. And yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.